But time now to reveal today's greatest Britain and Union jackass. My superstar panel back with me, Emily Carver. Who's your nomination for Greatest Britain? It's going to be a Telegraph columnist, Alison Pearson, just because she's been so fantastic. She wrote Great an article woman. this week um, about how uh, she was pilloried for being a lockdown sceptic and now she's been proven right. And I think she speaks for a lot of us who are shouted down at the time and there's been a lot of revisionism from some uh, members of the media and Absolutely, some uh, politicians Absolutely, no. Since. It was a brilliant column. I tweeted it, actually. So if you go to my Twitter page, you will see that column because it was so good. Adam Brooks, your union... Uh, no, sorry, Greatest Britain nominee. Sorry. Uh, it's Alan Miller. Oh, another great man. Yeah, co-founder of the Together Declaration. He's become a good friend of mine. He's brought MPs, scientists, doctors, nurses and the general public together... Uh, to fight vaccine passports, mandates. Uh, he's a great man. Well done, Alan. And Daisy McAndrew, your Greatest Britain nominee. I am nominating David Davis, um, partly for the historical context that he put um, his um, stabbing of Boris Johnson in the front rather than the back today, um, bringing up a quote from... Uh, the great Leo Amory, in which uh, you know, that quote brought down Neville Chamberlain the next day. So that's obviously what David Davis was hoping to do. Not going to happen, though, Bring is down it? Boris Johnson tomorrow. <laughs> Not going to happen. Look, I'm my greatest person today is Alison Pearson. It was such a powerful <laughs> column, and, and Alison has been one of my absolute heroes uh, during this pandemic. So that's a very good nomination, Emily Carver.